Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet these favorite scrubbies. So these are wonderful little scrubbies. They're not too thick but not too thin. They're about four inches in diameter and they're super easy and uh, quick to work up. So these are scrubby patterns. Uh, for the pattern today you're going to need about 25 yards of red heart scrubby is what I'm using as well as 25 yards of a worsted weight cotton I'm using the Bernat Handicrafter cotton you're also going to need a five millimeter crochet hook and you'll find links to these items in the description of the video also in the description of the video you'll find a link to the direct link to the free written pattern on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com so thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, I invite you to say hello down in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and check out some of the other great washcloth and scrubby patterns that you'll find here on my channel. Our design today is worked holding two strands of yarn together. So you're always going to be working with one strand of scrubby and one strand of cotton. We're going to start by making a slip knot we're working from the center out, so you're going to start by working a chain of five. Once you have your chain, you're going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch, making sure to work through both uh, strands of yarn. You're then going to chain one and for round one we're going to work nine single crochet stitches into the center of our ring. When you come to the first stitch join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. That's nine single crochets. And then join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. That brings you to the end of round one. For round two, you're going to chain one and then work one puff stitch into the same stitch as joining. To work a puff stitch, you're going to yarn over Insert your hook into that same stitch, yarn over, and draw up a loop. Do that a total of three times. So there's one, two, and three. Yarn over and draw through all the loops on your hook. You're then going to chain two And then work a puff stitch into the next stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way around chain two and puff stitch into the next stitch at the end chain two and join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. Once you have worked your all uh, way all the way around you'll have a total of nine puff stitches chain two and you're then going to join with a slip stitch into the top of that first puff stitch. We're now going to chain one and for round three you're going to begin by working a single crochet into the top of the first puff stitch. Into your next chain two space work two single crochet stitches. Then single crochet into the top of your next puff 
stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way around to single crochet stitches into the next chain 2 space, followed by a single crochet into the top of the next puff stitch. When you come around to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At the end of round 3, you've joined with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch and chain 1. Do not turn your work. For round 4, single crochet in each of the first 2 stitches, so the same stitch is joining, and into the next one. And then work 2 single crochets into your next stitch. Repeat that all the way around. One single crochet into your next stitch, and another single crochet into your next stitch. So one single crochet in each of the next two stitches, followed by two single crochets into the next stitch. Repeat that all the way around, and join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At the end of your round 4, join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch. We have one more round to go, chain 1. For round 5, we're going to work a reverse single crochet, sometimes this is called the crab stitch, into each stitch all the way around. To work your reverse single crochet, typically I would work from right to left. To work the reverse, you're going to work in the opposite direction. So bringing your hook back into the stitch before, you're going to insert your hook, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, and pull through two loops. You're going to do that in each stitch all the way around. Insert your hook in the previous stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, and pull through two in each stitch all the way around your scrubby. And you'll see that it's going to give you this thick, uh, almost like a corded texture uh, around the edge of your little scrubby. So go ahead, uh, work a reverse single crochet into each stitch all the way around. When you come to your first stitch, join your yarn with a slip stitch in the first stitch. Once you've come all the way around, working that reverse single crochet, I like to just flip my scrubby around and then join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. You're then going to fasten off. Weave in your ends and your favorite scrubby is complete. Go ahead make a few more you'll get quite a few out of the one ball of yarn um, you'll probably need less than the 25 yards per scrubby and uh, make some for yourself and for your friends until next time enjoy happy crocheting bye mm -hmm.